It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I had the privilege to interview the UNCG content creator, Darian Phillips. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Brandon. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Can you talk about how you got started being a college creative director? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I got started. Uh, it was kind of probably a odd, unique way, I guess. Uh, I started off, I uh, went to college thinking I was going to do radio. Uh, me and a friend of mine had a radio show in high school, and we ended up going to Ball State because we knew they had a great radio program there. Um, that didn't really work out, <clears throat> uh, so we needed something else to do. And uh, we just kind of got recruited to do this uh, news segment kind of thing called News on Indiana at Ball State. Uh, and the guy's pitch was basically, I give you guys a camera. You guys can go out there and shoot highlights of the football game. I mean, that was enough for us. So uh, we signed up to do that. And then that just opened up a different opportunity after a different opportunity of just doing, you know, film and sports. And it's kind of knew that's what I wanted to do. So kind of led me here. Can you talk about your experience at Ball State majoring in um, video production? Uh, yeah, at uh, Ball State, uh, majoring in video production, like you said. Uh, the major itself was really just kind of teaching you about film and a camera and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of the projects and things they kind of focused on was more so making movies and those kind of type of things. Um, but at Ball State, like I said, there were so many other opportunities to do so many other things. So I was able to get my hands in all kinds of different things as far as sports and shooting highlights, creating highlights and all that kind of things. What was your experience like as a video assistant at James Madison? Uh, my time at JMU was great. You know, um, I had got there and I knew they were going through a time of um, finding a new director of video. Uh, so for a while there, it was just myself and two other uh, video assistants. We just kind of had to hold it down and run the show until about the start of the new year. And we finally got a new director in there. She was able to, you know, lead us to even greater heights. But the experience at JMU was great. I was able to really, you know, get a firsthand experience of doing what I do now. So it was great. Can you talk about the process of being a video production and the day by day? Uh, yeah, uh, the day by day is it's pretty much something new every day, you know, uh, really no day is kind of similar to the next. Uh, you never really know what you're going to have um, as far as taking requests from coaches or uh, upper administration. You know, if a coach wants, you know, to come out, film a practice and make a video. Um, this is past week, you know, it was Halloween and stuff. So there was all kind of requests, uh, you know, like our women's soccer team. They did some Halloween type theme things. Uh, we did some pumpkin carvings. It was just, you know, taking requests really day by day. Can you talk about the experience, of course, being behind the camera and on the athletic side? Uh, yeah, um, in athletics, you know, um, like I said, there's always something, whether it's, you know, filming a practice, getting out, doing video shoots, uh, you know, different kind of content we try to do with our athletes to try to, you know, get them out there, promote them to the fans and, you know, let people see the other sides of them other than just them on the court, you know what I mean? So it's always something. Can you talk about the experience being a content creator and what that entails? Uh, yeah, uh, being a content creator, I mean, it's just that. I mean, you're always creating stuff. Uh, like I said, it's not just, you know, highlights or game footage or stuff. It could be, you know, making little photo shoot videos or, just little funny videos like we were playing kind of all kind of different games, you know, especially in these times of COVID, not a lot going on. So we were just trying to find fun ways to, you know, get our athletes out there to the fans. Can you talk about the bonding between you as a content creator and the athlete? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you kind of start to build a kind of friendship relationship with the athletes. Uh, you know, you're always around them. So you see them. When they're not on a court, you see the kind of the goofier sides. And I mean, they always love the camera. So, I mean, you know, they always play it for the camera and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's real great. 
What are some of your future plans whenever it comes to being a content creator at UNCG? Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, make UNCG uh, as great as I can as far as, you know, putting this out there on the map as far as having good content, you know, try to stay up with the times, make sure we always have, you know, the newer stuff going on and, you know, just trying to take this to great places. What advice would you give upcoming college content creators looking to get into the same profession? Uh, anybody that's trying to get into this, I would just, you know, tell them you got to get out there and just just do it, really. You just got to get your reps in. Uh, you don't have to have, you know, a nice fancy camera to start. You can go get you a small little camera from a pawn shop. I mean, that's how I started off, just a little camera. Um, you just film really anything. You can film your friends playing at the playground, the park, whatever. Uh, and just, you know, YouTube, YouTube stuff, you don't know how to do it. You know, it's a great way to learn how to do things. And yeah, just, you know, you got to get your reps and just, just keep practicing. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? I can find me on Twitter. Uh, I believe my uh, at is uh, at DarianP13 underscore. Uh, usually retweeting a whole bunch of uh, the content that I create. So it'd be a great place to, you know, find some of my stuff. Can you talk about how it feels to like have your content like on their Twitter, like on the athletic pages, Twitter and stuff? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, that's one of the things I love about, you know, being a content creator. Um, it's you can always go back and watch it. And I mean, you can still get the same feelings or, the same, you know, I mean, the same excitement you had the first time you watched it. Uh, that's that's one of the great things about it. Thank you again, Darian, for your interview, and best of luck at UNCG as a content creator. Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate you having me on. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at Talk underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk, along with Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Darian, for your interview, and best of luck. Appreciate it. Thank you again, Brandon. Thank you. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.